Hey guys, welcome back. It's another episode of the Let's Play here, uh, which it's been quite a while, because I went and I've finished both um, Sea of Flame 2 and Spellbound Caves since the last episode of this, and um, I haven't finished uploading the Spellbound Caves yet, but it will be coming, so don't worry. Um, <coughs> actually, I've only uploaded three episodes right so far, but I'm, I intend to upload like another three today. Um, so I don't know if you guys saw, but I did finish this this walkway thing here. Well, for the most part, this this tower isn't really finished. Um, but uh, I told you that I'd come back, and or well, at least, <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, I told you in the Spellbound Caves thing, which hasn't been uploaded yet, that I would be coming back here. So um. I might wait until all of those are uploaded, and I might not. I probably will. I might not. I don't think I will. Uh, I'll probably upload a few today, and then upload this one. Um, unless I feel like uploading them all today. But I don't think that's going to happen. Um, so yeah, I finished that, that, ca there, that cave, yeah, uh, that tube thing, and uh, so I forgot to check the time. Let's do that. That's why my mouse is going all weird. Okay. So, uh, I forget, I forgot that I used, to, that I usually do, uh, ten minute episodes here. So we'll say that I've been going for two minutes, or three minutes, so, okay. Um, so yeah, this place, kind of far from finished, but, uh, as you guys may or may not know, it, it that's not what I meant to hit, I meant to hit this. Um, if you look up in the upper left corner, it's Minecraft 1.1. So, uh, that's like just flashing. Oh, it's whenever you have your cursor over an item. That's really weird. Okay. Um, so that means there are several new changes. Not a whole lot, but there are some terrain generation changes, which worries me a little bit. Um, I think I'm going to leave this world behind. I mean, yeah, I've got some cool stuff like this place and the other place, but it's far from my best work. And uh, to be honest, I'm kind of ashamed of both of them. <laughs> uh, I like the other place better than this one, but... I don't know. There's just something about it. like this rail station. It was a bad idea. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have done it like this. I should have just put everything together like I did at the other place. Um, because this is just so much materials required that it's ridiculous. I had to farm so much freaking uh, sandstone for this. It's it's just awful. Um, <clears throat> so I shall be starting a new world with you guys, and we can do that right now, actually. So let's go in, and we can change the languages here. Not that I'm going to. I mean, I could change it to pirate, but I'm not going to. Uh, so I have changed this one to Let's Play World V1.0. And let's make a new world in, called Let's Play... What? Can't put... There we go. <laughs> let's Play World V1.1. Because it is version 1.1, so, you know. Whatever. And uh, you can go in here and change the world type to super flat now. Which has a bit of a slime problem, uh, but the world is at like height level four. Uh, so let's create the world first while I talk. Um, so and slime spawn in the light. So that means in all of the slime chunks during the day, slime spawn like crazy. Uh, so you you literally end up with like hundreds of slimes everywhere. Um, so. Yeah, they did change the terrain generation. Not a whole lot, but honestly, I really like it. Um, he add Jeb added some uh, some hills basically to everything. Um, the world is just much more hilly now, uh, which doesn't sound like it would do a whole lot, but it really does. Um, especially in the plains where you've got these big rolling hills and everything, is I think it's really cool. Apparently, it caused some issues because one person had a beach that was like all of the sand wasn't even up against the water; it was up the hill. Like, it's kind of like this, up with a forest behind it, and the sand, like, stopped, or started here, and then went up to, like, about here, so there was actually a dirt line going down the edge of the thing, but, uh, because somebody was complaining, like, fix the beaches, so, okay, did they, there we go, I was, <laughs> I was like, did they make it so that grass doesn't drop wheat anymore, or seeds anymore, because that's going to be a problem. Okay, well, look at that, we've already got a whole bunch of sheep here. And sheep now regrow their wool, so when they eat, which, actually, I need to see if I can 
get that black wool to regrow its black wool. Black sheep to regrow its black wool. Blah, blah, blah. Something like that. Um, so, yeah, I mean, yeah, I know we've been in that old world for a while, but uh, particularly because it's split up, so, like, it, I think it was really interesting how the timing worked out, where uh, just as I finished uh, Spellbound Caves, 1.1 came out. Because it's like, I've been away for quite a while from my Let's Play. And, uh, you know, it's nice to come back and uh, start a new world. We're going to we're gonna try to do things right this time. I actually have a, a checklist of um, things that I want to be in my house this time. So that I don't just keep, like, adding things weird, whatever. Um, like I kind of did with my first house in the previous world. Um, in V1.0. Uh, because it was kind of haphazard, and just wherever it, it happened to be, you know, is where it came out. Uh, or wherever I had space, I should say. And I, I, I don't know, I don't really like that. So, uh, this time, I intend to try to come up with a plan. Like, I, I know that I need a, s I have, <laughs> sorry guys, um, having some trouble talking right now. Uh, I know that... Uh, I have, like I said, I have my list of things that I want to put in my house, and it's, it's got, like, I'd say, like, 12 rooms right now. Um, it's just, like, all the different rooms that I'm gonna want in my house. Why didn't I? Oh, I did make a pick. Okay. I'll grab this. Try to find some, uh, s this, is that snowy over there? It looks snowy. I think it's snowy. I can't really tell. I need some iron make some shears for those sheep. You guys know that I hate wooden tools. So let's go ahead and make a pick. And grab some more stone. One of the things that was rough about playing some of the... Well, I shouldn't say that. Uh, one of the things that would be rough playing like legendary um, is that there's very little stone available. Well, is there stone? No, yeah, there's, there's very little stone available. So, um, those zombies are sounding really close, and I think that's a spawner, actually, because I only hear zombies. Um, so, that's suspicious. It's been a while since I said that. <laughs> um, I will, I will continue doing maps. I just wanted to come back here, and I'm going to try to spread these out. Uh, hi, zombies. Or maybe it's just two zombies just chilling. Hold on. Change particles to all. That was weird. It wasn't doing the critical hit particles. Any iron, uh, coal would be nice. No. No iron, no coal. None at all. Ugh. I know this must be hard for you guys to see, so I'm gonna back out now. Do a little bit lighter place. Uh, ooh, cool. See, always dig under gravel. Like, if you want to find a bunch of stuff, or if you want a bunch of gravel, always dig out gravel. Especially, like, if you're underground, and you're just... If you don't really have any interest in, in like, branch mining, like I do, um, or you need a bunch of dirt or gravel, <laughs> um, you can always find a ton by just going underground, and any time you hit dirt or gravel, just dig it out. Um, you'll get so much stuff, like, because, first of all, if you have a diamond shovel, you're going to be mining that stuff out so fast, it's ridiculous. Um, and, uh, or even just an iron shovel would, would mine things incredibly quickly. Uh, I am just going to slay three sheep, uh, because it's faster, and I don't have any iron right now, so I need to come back and get some at some point. Um, or get some and then come back. Let's see if we can't find a good example of the hill. Like, obviously, I'm pretty sure this hill right here is, uh, one of the hills that got added. You can see all these little spots in the ground. I think that's the sheep eating. Little dirt spots. Because the sheep do eat grass now, and that's how they regain their wool. Which I do believe they did a long time ago, and then it got taken out. And then something, something, and I don't know. Let's see what's in here. That's a whole lot of nothing. Some coal. That's better than nothing, I suppose. Um, 
Okay, so first, before I actually build a home, I want to try to figure out what biome I want it to be in. And I'm kind of thinking I want it to be in the plains, because, to be honest with you, I just love having my big house in the middle of the plains, where you can see it for miles. And you can see four miles from it. You know what I mean? So, um... I'm going to have to look into Ethos Mob Evader, uh, because I know... Well, I guess I used that with my spiders, didn't I? And it worked just fine. Um, I mean, of course, I'd try not to do it with spiders, because that's terrible. Uh, <clears throat> if I make a mob trap this time, it's... Oh, they changed it so it only heals one heart, or one hunger thing. Used to be two. And then cooked was three. Um, iron? Uh, iron! <laughs> that was easy. That sounded like a hiccup. It wasn't. It was me being excited and making some very strange noises. <coughs> so, uh, let's see. It has been over ten minutes. Um, was it ten minutes or fifteen minutes that I usually do my videos for? Oh no! There we go. Uh, I don't know. Either way, we're probably over time. So, um... <coughs> Sorry, guys. I really don't know. It's like talking just seems to always make my voice go weird. Alrighty. That's all that iron. Five iron. Not the most in the world, but oh well. Uh, let's just dig our way out here. <coughs> okay. So, I'm thinking I want my house to be somewhere out there. We'll see how big this area is first before we do, because if it's not very big, then obviously it's not the best place to build our home, because I want a lot of plants. I mean, I suppose it's near a forest, which is nice. And actually, that's a snow forest, so I could make an igloo if I really wanted to. I don't want to, but I could. <clears throat> actually, this grants me pretty easy access to uh, some snow golems, so I can make an infinite snow generator, because... If you have a snow golem stuck on one block, and you dig out the snow from underneath him, it just keeps going, so you can just keep hitting the button over and over and over again and getting tons of snow. Uh, so yeah. I will probably do that at some point. Just for fun. You know? Uh, see if I couldn't make an automatic one. That'd be cool. Oh no, I don't think you can, because breaking it with anything but a shovel doesn't do it. Okay, anyway. Uh, it's time for me to go. So... Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll get into this homemaking business next episode. Bye.